G'day mate, 40 here. Looking out at Watson's Bay over there. Then I was clamoring all over those rocks. Go north from Manly Beach. So twisting and turning my ankle constantly as I clamor over the rocks, but uh, I like to think that all the uh, positional release strain counter strain therapy I've been doing has enabled my ankles to stay more flexible. So I'm reading Ronnie Goldman's book on conservative theories of cultural oppression. He notes that uh, liberals want us to stop hitting the accelerator on our cars, on our ambitions, on our appetites, on everything. So conservatives, right, we believe that social and political life is sustained not, not only by ideas, right, but much more powerfully by those habits that come before conscious rationalization and reflection, right? We, we pick up mores in ways that resist formal codification or even articulation, right? And uh, Amy Wax makes, makes this point that uh, conservatives fear what gay marriage will do because it, it takes aw us away from tradition. Right, the powers of human reason are severely limited. Right, all of our intellectual gifts are not fully capable of meeting the challenge that life presents. Right, the dilemmas of human existence are frequently resistant to rational analysis because social practices and traditions do not derive from first principles, but they evolve over time by trial and error. So that's the, the basis of conservative claims of cultural oppression, that it begins fundamentally with different understandings about the nature of the self. Whether we are porous or buffered, right? So from a conservative perspective, the, the, the fetus is not just a fetus, right? It's on the way to becoming fully human. Right? You can't just rationalize it as, oh, it's just a fetus. No, it is you know, on its way to full humanity. And the case for traditional marriage, something that uh, may largely resist you know, philosophical first principles, but we fear that if you upset you know, traditional mores, you know, who knows what will be lost. Like if in all of human history until recently there's never any such thing as same-sex marriage from, from a conservative perspective, that's reason enough to be highly suspicious. So from a right-wing perspective, we don't trust human reason. We don't trust that uh, reason alone can, can lead us to the promised land. We want to rely upon you know, time-tested traditions of ways to organize communities, societies, and families. But, uh, we prefer the time-tested to the newfangled ways of organizing communities and families. We prefer time-tested moral standards, mores and customs to their you know, brilliant innovation from Harvard. We think that uh, you know, our grandmothers usually have more wisdom about life than uh, we do when we're in university.